Dance. We love this shit. For real. Like, we like this we shit. raised yesterday. <laughs> we like this shit. Beyond you know me, the fuck? Yo, this I'm shit cool. like a new experience. Like, yeah. I ain't never. Huh? Yeah, yeah like, I didn't, I done sent so much shit out that niggas. I finally got, I finally, finally I caught one. Finally. <laughs> fuck, man. You're crazy, man. Nah, man, everything happened for a reason, bro. Like, everything, we not tripping about that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, like, everything happened for a reason, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what it is, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? My son still think I'm invincible. Like, he still know, like, a nigga invincible. That shit ain't about nothing. Everything happened for a reason. Like, that, you know what I'm saying? We know, like, that shit pussy. You hear me? Like, that shit pussy. Like, we gonna get in that grid and we, like, real deal vultures. Like, we ain't tripping about no five, none of that shit. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna paint a nigga like this up. And we gonna do it. And we gonna do it to a nigga. That's in the night. If we was on the other side of the, of the gun, y'all know how that shit would be, man. But yeah, we gonna whoop ass or we gonna smoke ass. Nigga was chilling on some good boy shit. Like we were chilling on good boy shit. We was in my nigga was tripping up the LA Super Bowl vibing like that. We were we packed light with little people, bro. Mm-hmm. We ain't even come up there with all the snipes. Y'all know a nigga sniper game for real. We ain't even go out there with all the snipes, but I don't be taking like my crazy, like we we, we crazy enough. I don't even take none of my crazy homeboys with me though, cause like niggas shit be happening. Motherfucking niggas get kicked out of hotels, niggas be smoking and shit like that. We be too deep. I don't be wanting crazy shit to go on, cause these niggas crazy. I don't be wanting shit to go on, man. You know what I'm so I be trying to, you know what, I'm pat like, I ain't gonna go with too much crazy people. I'm just go with a little bit of people and you're gonna be good. I'm gonna stay out of jail. I'm gonna stay woo, blah, 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 blah. You know, that's what it's going But for now, bitch, who? <laughs> you fuck it, you hear me? Fuck that. Check it out now. Holy. Now, I don't know what type of gremlin activities these are, but listen, man, when you excited that you finally got shot, okay? When you excited that, and you're basically saying you love shootouts, there's probably something wrong with you, man. Now, I love Kodak Black, but God damn it, after getting shot in the leg, he doesn't seem like the guy who's like, yo, yo, I'm so lucky I made it out with my life. Yo, it could have went bad. They could have shot me in my chest. They could have shot me in my head. That's not his attitude at all. Now, maybe he's hyped up off all these pain medications, but he is celebrating the fact that he got into this particular situation and he's like man finally they got me they got me with one of them okay now he then goes on to talk about the exact same thing i've been preaching against homie security he didn't say hey next time we're gonna move with better security we're gonna have professionals we're gonna make sure this type of stuff don't happen he basically said well now i know next time i shouldn't leave the guys who are the real demons at home now again I don't know if this is all an act. And by the way, actually, I know it's not all, all an act. We know Kodak ain't all the way there, man. This guy, basically, he's missing a few screws. And this is the problem because somebody has to get close to him and say, Kodak, you need to, first of all, come to terms with what happened. Number two, you also have to realize that no matter how much you think you guys are gremlins and you guys are thugs in Florida, There's thugs and killers everywhere. This type of attitude is an attitude that people have that eventually don't learn from previous situations and get in worse ones later on. And we're going to be like, how did this happen? When in reality, all the signs and the proof that this was going to happen again was right in front of our very eyes. It's just that they didn't learn. So again, his attitude towards it, I'm thinking I don't think he's saying this to, like, impress whoever he's talking to in live. I think he really believes this, and I think that's a problem. Now, I don't know who in Kodak's camp could probably tell him, like, yo, bro, let's keep it 100, man. We need to chill. Yo, we need to move better. We need proper security. I don't know if that person exists, but Kodak needs to immediately change how he's moving around because if he thinks he's going to be able to do some of the things that he did at that particular situation, jump people, get in fights, and think that nobody is going to be armed and nobody's going to be, or people are going to be scared to shoot because it's him, he's making a sad mistake, okay? I hope he gets better. I hope this is all just him tripping off the pain medications. But if we know anything about Kodak, Kodak just seems like the person who doesn't value his freedom that much 
I hope he values his life. Get in the comment box. Make sure you guys like them. Subscribe to Boy Academics. What do you guys think about this whole thing? Do you think he learned his lesson or not? Nah?